I'm going to give you a very, very fast tutorial on how to auto caption in Premiere Pro. We're going to go to Premiere Pro. We're going to hit new project, make your project, whatever you want. All right. So um, I'm also going to give you a tutorial, a brief tutorial on like formatting for TikTok. But right here, bottom left, we're going to go right click the project section. Oh, wait, no, not, not history. My bad. Right click in some dead space. Hit new item and then we're gonna go new sequence. I already have a preset, but if you don't have a preset, we go to settings, customs. You want to make your frame rate 23 point whatever this nine is, seconds. TikToks for some reason, I don't know. If it's 20, if it's 30 frames per second, it does not open on my phone for some reason. So the frame size, 180 wide, 1920 tall, square pixels, everything else is fine. Um, you can name the sequence whatever you want. And then you can also save presets. So I saved it as a TikTok. Okay. But name, we can name this whatever we want. So I'm going to name this auto caption test. This is just when you export it, this is going to be the name unless you change it. So to make it easier, I just change it here. Okay. I don't know why the timeline went up here, but all right. I fixed the timeline. Okay. But, um, so now I'm going to take the file that I want, drag it onto my timeline here. Keep existing settings. Okay. Here's how it looks like. The most important things that you really need to know, like the most, the bare minimum, all you need to know, this is the razor tool. You click this, the command on your computer, on your keyboard is C. So if you hit C, you also can access this. Wherever, wherever you put it, you click it, it splits the track in two. Now, this is the pointer selection tool. To put this, to click this on your keyboard, you click V and you get the pointer. Click whatever track you want, hit delete. There's this, then it won't move, right? There's this like ghost track, delete, and then it like backs the entire thing up. Very, no, it's very similar to DaVinci. Like learn, I went from DaVinci to using Premiere Pro and it was super easy to go over. So I'm just gonna use the um, cut tool to cut this one section of audio. This was from a previous TikTok that I made. Delete, delete, and then hit delete like that. Uh, just delete all the ghost tracks and now all I have is the track that I want. If you want to make the TikTok look a little nicer, um, I like adding a background and blurring the background so that it's not, it doesn't have these black bars on top and the bottom. Okay. So what we want to do, whatever track we have, if you hold alt and you click and drag, it just duplicates your track like this. So now I have two, or you can copy paste. Okay. Now with my duplicated track, I'm going to double click it. Now, once these bars appear, I can transform my image. I'm going to click it and drag it till it's like large. You can also adjust this numerically. So on the left hand side here under video motion, where it says scale, that's the zoom. So I can also manually just change this number to whatever I want and it will zoom it in or out. Now you want to add a cute looking Gaussian blur on it. So it's not just if it were to double up like this, it would look really weird. So under effects, we click effects. It's under video effects, but if you want to look for it faster, you can just search for Gaussian blur. All right, where it says blur and sharpen, we click that, drag that on top of the file we want to blur. It doesn't look blurred right now because we have to actually turn the setting up. Right here, where it says Gaussian blur on the left side, blurriness, just increase this number. I don't know. I like using 70, it looks good. Now where the tracks are, click this. We're going to move this up. The, um, the track that's like, that looks like this. Now, if you take this track, you can right click, oh shit, hold on, right click it, deselect it and then right click it. If you click unlink, it, de it separates the video and audio track. So just click the audio track and delete it. We don't care about that. And then you take this and drag it beneath, beneath it. So now we get this doubled up blur look, which I really like. So that's how I get that done. All right. Now, a lot of you guys want to see me do the auto caption, right? So here's how you auto caption on the top bar here where it says caption and graphics. We're going to click this. First up, you want to hit transcribe sequence. You want to transcribe based on the audio. Okay. So audio on track, right? So these are the tracks, audio track one, audio track two. So whichever track has the audio you want captioned, you can select that specific one. I only have audio on uh, track one, so it only shows this one. However, if you want to transcribe everything, you can click mix and it tries its best. I, I just like keeping all the audio I want transcribed on the same track. So it's easier Then you wait for this to transcribe. So then right here, we can see the, um, the caption and then we want to hit create captions. Okay. So 
create from sequence transcript. That's creating from this transcript right here, okay? Caption preset, I just leave a subtitle default. If you have presets, you can also toss your preset on here. Mm, they're, they're, I'm not the best at this, but I try my best, okay? I leave all this the same. Lines, single. Uh, minimum duration, I make it as short as possible. Maximum length. For TikToks, you want your audio, your captions to go kind of fast so that um, there's always some intrigue going on, something fast and flashy happening up at the top to catch people's eye. So maximum length, I make it about 12. Short and sweet, we hit create. And then we wait again for this thing to create. Also, the bottom bar right here is the zoom bar. So the smaller this bar gets, the more zoomed in it is. So let me just like fill it up. Okay, so sometimes the caption doesn't start at the very beginning. So I'll just click it and then drag. You can just click it when there's hey cat. like that. But um, right now, all our captions are on the bottom and they look kind of ugly. We want to change the style of this. But to change the styles here, under where it says text, like on the right hand side, essential graphics, that's where we change all of the text. So pick whichever font you want to use. I recommend using a bold font. Like don't use one with very, that, that's very skinny. It's very difficult to read. So fill. I also like to add a stroke. So we're going to click this stroke. We can just click it and then adjust the color to whichever we like. I like to use some arbitrary blue color, blue. And then right here, you can slide it uh -oh, to adjust I the can't read. thickness, or you can manually click and adjust. Hi, Michael Flame. Michael, thank you for the follow. Welcome to my stream, Michael. Did you also come with Hammy's Raid? And then you can also, they also automatically add a back a drop shadow. I like the drop shadow though. And then right here, this is a slider for font size, so we can adjust it. I like to make it around 100. And then the zone is where the thing is located like where the the text is located so if you click in the middle of the zone it's in the it's in the middle of your project click on the right it's on the right hand the right centered side this is the left centered side top left top right so i pick the the middle top but tiktok kind of crops the very top off at least i have an iphone 11 it does that so this is how you adjust the horizontal and vertical position you just click it and then you drag and it can lower it. So I like doing that to lower it. Okay. Now, last thing about the auto captioning. Now that we change the text to the style we want, look what happens when we play the text. The Jason's caption art right there, right? It only does it for one, but that's okay. What we're gonna do under where it says track style, click this, click create style, name it whatever you want. The name doesn't matter. Okay, I can face on the keyboard, hit okay. Once you change the track style, Bam, so now all of them look like this. Now, I want to say JSON art, right? Like the text right here, this, this caption was incorrect. So here, I can just, what I just do normally, I, well, because this one is, I want to say JSON art. I just, you can click this, delete, take this one, make it the full length. And then on the left hand side, you double click it right here. JSON art. Jason's art, Jason R's B. But okay, that was because I stuttered on it. Um, I would have, that was cut out of my actual TikTok. But yeah, if if something was captioned incorrectly, just right here where, where it's orange, double click it, click this, and then change the text to, to, I don't know, whatever you want it to say, okay? That's a very dumbed down version on how you can um, auto caption in Premiere Pro. Now go out and save hours and hours of your editing.